28th of sun's dusk. After lunching with everyone in the common room yesterday, I visited the night mother to get a new contract. This one was in Rorikstead. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with the unemployed laborer at the Frostfruit Inn in Rorik's dead. Accept his gold, then kill the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. I debated leaving straight away. But I was so tired I could hardly keep my eyes open. I finally gave in and laid down for a nap. Unlike the past several nights, I was able to sleep, but that turned out to be even worse than the insomnia. Based on the state of my bed when I awoke, I must have tossed and turned like a windmill while sleeping. My dreams were vivid and from what I can piece together, made of memories more than imagination. The visions all seem to be from the time I was turned. Vague, shadowy images of dark shapes coming at me in the woods. Terror and disbelief as they grabbed me. Sharp pain and shock as fangs sank into my neck. And then darkness. A black void punctuated by flashes of grinning, demonic faces leering at me and laughing as they tore at my skin and drank from my bleeding wounds. Coming to, some indeterminable time later, to find myself naked and laid out on the ground within the vampire's lair. Confusion despair, hopelessness, overwhelming sadness as my brain feebly grasped the realization of what had happened and registered that my life as I'd known it was gone forever. And then the vampires coming again to complete their task, forcing the first taste of blood down my throat my own reaction of horror and protest, gagging and retching as they held me down and poured it into my mouth, hearing them laugh and jeer as I vomited the dark liquid all over my own body, and then the ensuing rituals, debasing and disgusting, and I was forced to endure all the degrading things they did to me and feelings of guilt and shame when I finally stopped resisting as I recognized the futility of fighting the inevitable remembering how I reeled from the onslaught of physical and emotional sensations and and I simply gave up and I gave in a swirling and shifting of the images and then remembering being one of them, wearing their garb and helping to collect fresh human cattle for a feast. My first true feeding, which I joined with enthusiasm. I could recall a small part of my mind registering the disgust and, and horror, but most of me, the new me, relished the experience. I grew drunk on the cattle's flesh and their blood, euphoric as I heard their screams and cries of agony while we tore them apart, Let me memories go. of my own manic laughter as the night wore on, my clothing becoming splattered with viscera and fluids, reveling in the bloodbath, and my own laughter again as the cattle died before me one by one in a slow escalation of torture's pain and the culmination of the orgy as the master led me back to his bed. I was an eager student, 
ready to partake in whatever was asked of me. These were the visions that still filled my mind when I awoke from my nap. Disoriented, I grappled to recover my senses, to remember who I was in the here and now. Ever so slowly, reality crept back in until I could form sensical thought. Ah, yes, yes, I was Ivelda, the listener, and more. I was more than the Ivelda birthed by my mother, more than the Ivelda birthed by those vampires, and yes, I was even more than the Ivelda birthed by the unholy matron herself. It was the middle of the night, but that was my time. I left this sanctuary in the dead of night, alone, and headed off to Rorikstead to meet the next contact. Come on, boy, let's go. I found him in the inn, as expected, and took his gold. No, not you. Is it you? Aye, this is the one. Hail, Sidis. You the one from the, the Dark Brotherhood? Aye. The man I need killed is a seasoned hunter. He's just outside Falkreath. Here's the gold. Very well. The target was a hunter down in Falkreath, so I continued on my way south. Again. <sighs> All right, time to disappear. And there he is. Meh, <laughs> nothing good. Alright, job's done. So what now? After eliminating the hunter, I stopped in Falkreath Barracks for a snack and some mindless violence to appease the disquiet of my mind. Oh, I should be able to drink my fill in the barracks. Why are they just standing there? What are you doing that for? Oops. <laughs> Now, as for you two... <laughs> you are all weak! None of you are a match for me! Oh. 
Bring it on. <laughs> Lucky hit. Enough. This ends now. Unfortunately, it didn't have the effect I'd hoped. I was restless, angry, and out of sorts. I felt unwhole, fractured somehow. It was thoroughly unsettling. I wanted to be back home, hoping that communing with the Night Mother again would help to ground me. So I rode for a white run and took the carriage back to Dawn's daughter. Everyone was still just hanging around the sanctuary when I got there. To be honest, it was beginning to annoy me greatly. Was I the only one doing contracts? It was starting to feel just like the Thieves' Guild. Nobody did anything useful, and I was carrying all the weight. Ignoring my useless family, I went right to the Night Mother for a visit. Something? Yet another child has prayed to their mother. She didn't want to talk. She just wanted to give me more work, which annoyed me further. There seemed to be an endless supply of contracts, and apparently I was supposed to do them all myself. This time I had to travel to Iverstead. My backside was a little sore from all the recent time in the saddle, so I decided to wait until tomorrow to ride out again. I spent the rest of the day making some potions and doing odd jobs around the sanctuary, trying to keep myself too busy to think. As night fell and my brothers and sisters drifted off to their beds, I knew that sleep was not an option for me. I could not bear another night like the last. Instead, I spent my time with the prisoners. We only had two left now, but I gave them both a good working over. Oh, burn you wretches. <laughs> Melt the flesh from your bones. Or would you rather I freeze it off instead? <laughs> oh, pathetic worms. I've told you everything I can. I don't know what else you could want. That's the best you can do? You miserable excuse of a woman. You are nothing. Nothing, I say. It's... Nothing. And you, you are even worse. The sniveling bastard. When I was done, I still felt unsatisfied. So I sunk my teeth into their necks and sucked them dry. The flavor of tortured blood was quite interesting even sharper than normal and with a bit of extra bite. I wanted more, and then more, and so I drank until I could pull no more blood from either body. The leftover corpses I threw onto the fire and then took a nice long bath. <laughs> 